Now, Skip, uh, because this is unnecessary. I'm about to calm up. <laughs> okay, calm yeah. up. Oh, I don't know what we like better. A Cowboys win or mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers? Ooh, Aaron Rod it's all riled up. <laughs> On today's show, Steven Jackson will be here to preview the Ooh. new look Lakers. We Ooh. also have former Seahawk Cliff Averill. Ooh. He's also here. He's going to tell us the truth about Russell That'll Wilson. But we are going to start with Skip's favorite topic, oh, the oh. amazing <laughs> comeback from Aaron Rodgers. What? The Packers hosted the 49ers. Who said it was amazing. Oh, it was pretty amazing. It was, it was really? supposed to be an easy game. win. Yeah, a different game. Okay, we'll see. Rodgers and the Pack were down by seven late in the fourth quarter when he hit Devontae Adams for a game tying touchdown. Then the Packers forced an interception on the 49ers. Next drive, setting it up again for Rodgers. He led Green Bay on a 10 play drive to set up the game winning field goal. Rodgers became the first player in NFL history with at least 400 passing yards, zero interceptions in back to back games. And after the game, he put this one in perspective. I don't know if it was a season-saving win for us, but uh, it definitely um, was an important one, especially with the uh, prognosticating that'll go on about the uh, type of, of opponent we have coming up the next few weeks, and obviously them being road games. Uh, this was uh, an important game for us. I've never liked to use the term must win, but uh, it was an important one. All right, Shannon, how impressive was Rodgers last night? I thought it was very impressive. It was made more impressive for the fact that Aaron Rodgers is not healthy. I don't care that they didn't list him on the injury report. But Aaron Rodgers has a knee brace on for a reason. Hmm. Tom Brady wears a knee brace. Tom Brady's knee is perfectly fine. Hmm. But it gives him comfort knowing that he had this knee injury over a decade ago. Hmm. But he wears a knee brace. Hmm. His knee is fine. Mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers doesn't wear a knee brace normally. Mm -hmm. He got injured in, what, the second game of the season, I think? Hmm. The first game of the season against Chicago. Hmm. And he's worn a knee brace since. So I know Aaron Rodgers. He, how many games has he missed this year? Oh, none. Go ahead. So you're only injured if you miss a game. I, that's what you tell me. I mean, if you're out there, you're that's what you always tell me. Uh, you step on that football field, you are A-OK. -okay. I'm glad you said that. So yeah. don't ever, ever uh. mention about 12 stitches in someone's hand again. I, Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's not your turn he to play. talk. He played. Why are you talking? <laughs> it's my turn. It's, can you please stop interrupting? Look, I understand that early in the game, he ran some bootlegs, did, did some things to uh, oh. diagram to get him outside. Oh. But you can tell oh. the way he was dragging that leg. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was getting chased down from behind by guys that would never, ever lay uh, a hand on him in that situation. <coughs> I'll give San Francisco... Excuse me, I got something in my throat. Is he going to make yeah. it through the yeah, show, no. Shannon? Go ahead. Just let me know. Yeah. Just let me know. Yeah. Let him do this? Yeah. Are, you done? Are you turn. done? <laughs> Is you sure it's my turn? Yeah, I just got okay. a frog in my throat. <laughs> you. Go ahead. Okay, Jenny, again. Yes. And if you look at what he was able to do, mm -hmm. given the circumstances, is that not only did he need... He needed 10 points to win the game. Not a, not a field goal to win the game. Mm. He needed 10 points mm. to win the game. And for him to do that in that situation, and I know, you know, people are like, well, look at the other guy. He wasn't competing against Beathard. He was competing against the 49ers defense. Mm -hmm. And they had given him all he can handle up until the final mm -hmm. two drives. They did a great job. And this is what I didn't understand about when he got injured in the first game against the Bears. Why wouldn't they pressure him? You look at what they did, Chicago, you look at what the 49ers did, 49ers brought pressure. They did a great job of mixture, four-man, three-man, five-man. They sold out, uh, and they, they got to Aaron Rodgers. They, they dinged him a couple of times, mm -hmm. but the resiliency of him, and he knows Aaron Rodgers is not going to win a game very... No, I shouldn't say never. There are going to be very few times in which the Packers win a game in which Aaron Rodgers does not play great. He has to be great. His defense isn't very good. Mm. And I'm being nice, because today I'm going to be nice mm. today. But the Packers' defense mm. isn't very good. And so he knows he must be on his best behavior. He mm. must be the best Aaron Rodgers on any given Sunday or Monday in order for them to win. And he was at his ver absolute best last night. That was a virtuoso. Mm. You read it. Mm. First quarterback in the 99-year history to go 400 no INTs and, and multiple touchdowns. Mm. That's what he's capable of. Mm. That's why he's universally regarded by most, unlike somebody else, who says that somebody else is the best, but that's all. Well, I mean, it's clearly the other guy. No. Nah. The reigning MVP. No, nah, no, nah, no. The nah, guy nah. who did it to the hottest team in the NFL on Sunday night. The guy who threw for 182 in the fourth quarter versus this guy who threw for 145. Well, you know what, Jenny? I wasn't even going to go there. Yeah. I wasn't going to go there, Jenny. I know. He threw for 182 yards in the fourth quarter against what? Mm -hmm. The 32nd ranked total defense, the 31st ranked 
pass defense. Mm -hmm. So was he doing that against the offense or the defense? Who was the quarterback on the other side on Sunday Tom night? Brady was I think it was the him. hottest offense in the league what, by no, far. No, no. So, so Tom Brady was yeah, you're competing against, against him because if you don't do it, he will. Whoa! Because he's just torching your defense. Oh, I get so you got to keep him off the field. So you got to milk the clock. You got a whole different ball game going he's on. He's milking the clock because just... Aaron Rodgers is playing C.J. Beathard. No, he's playing the defense. He's playing C.J. Beathard. He knows that C.J. is going to turn back into C.J. in the fourth quarter. And what happened? Right on schedule, he turned back into C.J. Do you like the way C.J. played in the, the fourth quarter? No, you know what? I didn't either. He may, look. They came with, the, again, they came with mm. bomb blitz, zero mm -hmm. coverage. All he had to do was throw the ball outside. The guy's playing inside leverage. In a situation like that. On the interception? Yes. All he needed to do is throw it five more yards. That's all. Oh, you, or throw but it he's, a, he's C.J. Beathard. But the guy's playing inside leverage. So yeah. C.J. knows that. He sees the guy's playing inside leverage. You just just throw, throw the ball, throw the ball on the outside. Foot. No, he just didn't get enough on it because he's C.J. Beathard. That's why he was taken in the third round versus the first round. Sorry. That's why Patrick Mahomes, that's why Andy Reid went up in the draft to get Patrick Mahomes. Hold on, time stolen. out. Wait a minute. This is not about Patrick. This is not about C.J. Beth. This is about Tom Brady. This is about Mahomes. So, this is about Aaron Rodgers and that virtuoso. Thank you. Virtuoso performance. So, what was Aaron Rodgers' QBR for the game last night? That's Zero to 100. What was it, Mr. Sharp? I don't know. What it was, was a grand total of 55. That, Tom Brady that, was 66. That, that lifted him up. Well, Tom Brady has the seventh best QBR in the league, and Aaron Rodgers now is 18th overall after last night's 55. So th that should let so you know QBR why, why was Jive. Why, why was QBR 55 last night? Because he wasn't very good for most of the game. He was hit and miss. He was even hit and miss in the fourth quarter. What was his percentage of completions, Mr. Sharp, in the fourth quarter last night? How about 50? He was 10 of 20. 50%. Is that good? Is that virtuoso? Well, I don't think so. I thought you were like end results. You told me you were end results type yeah. of guy. Well, I'm, I'm an end result of who are you playing against? And speaking of the defenses, the 49ers defense came in last night ranked 29th in points allowed. Is that good, Mr. Sharp? Yeah. So should this have happened, what Aaron Rodgers did late, should this have happened early in this game? I thought they'd win by three touchdowns, and they didn't. They squeaked it out, and Aaron made some really good throws near the, down the stretch. Good or great? Well, very good. I'll, I'll give you very good throws. Great! But who was he up against, Mr. Sharp? You should know this, being the Hall of Famer that you are. What happened to Jimmy Ward, the starting cornerback for the 49ers? A former first-round pick. Uh, it's been a while back, but back in 2014, he was uh, uh, the 30th overall pick in the draft. Jimmy Ward, what happened to him, Mr. Sharp? What happened? He pulled his hamstring and could not play in the fourth quarter. So he was replaced by number 26. And I don't know who he is, but his name is Greg Maben, and he was undrafted out of Iowa. He He's playing in his second year. And even Devontae admitted after the game on ESPN, yeah, it was kind of Weir's Waldo. He didn't use that phrase. I'll use it because it was 26. Fine, 26. Right. And about half the time in the fourth quarter, I kept looking up, and 26 was on Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams is really, really good because he is a big, tall, long, fast receiver. Mm -hmm. And Aaron knows he can throw it up to him as he did in the end zone. That was a really good pass, but you just got to hit him up high. He right. did it to Dallas last year. Remember late in the game in Dallas? Yeah. He got little 5'9 Jordan Lewis on him twice yeah. and just said, I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to go back to the 5'9 cornerback. You like Jordan Lewis, yeah. remember? You told well, me I'm Jordan just saying, Lewis. but it was 5'9 versus 6'3. Okay. Devontae is big and rangy and can get mm -hmm. up for the, for the ball. So what happened? It's where's Waldo? Let's throw it at 26. And whoever 26 was on, they just kept going to 26. It was a mismatch. He made some nice throws, but am I going to do handsprings over that against the 29th ranked? defense and C.J. Beathard and you're calling it virtuoso? Hold on, hold on. Stop it. Okay, well then tell Stop me Stop it. This. Just pull back. This, this is again, this is LeBron-esque. He is the LeBron James of the National but Football League is Aaron okay, Rodgers. Okay, okay, you want to call him LeBron. But tell, but you won't tell me where the Chiefs defense is ranked. The Chiefs defense is terrible. Okay, the then. Point was, the point was the, the Chiefs have a nuclear weapon on offense with lots of nuclear weapons around him. So what had been happening? You saw in the second half, the Chiefs scored 31 points yes. of the genius Bill Bell. You give Bill Belichick 75% of the credit for the dynasty. Yes. His defense is disastrous. It got torched at Jacksonville. It got torched at Detroit. And it got torched in the second half at home on Sunday night football for all the world and to Tom see. And Tom Brady torched the uh, 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 
the Kansas City's defense he in the had first to. half. And, and he had to do well, it Aaron Rodgers had to do what he had, he had to, to do. do. No, no, he did not. It was just like candy from baby. Did you see what? Because the, def the Green Bay defense knows if C.J. Beathard has the ball, we'll get it back quickly. If you don't mind was me. there fear of getting torched by C.J. Beathard? There was not. Yeah, you saw the game in the first half. What was C.J. Beathard doing to the defense in the first half? Let's in the put first Aaron Rodgers back on that pedestal. Was, Way yeah, to go. Uh, but uh, this, is what I, this is what I don't understand. The Kansas City's defense mm -hmm. is worse than San Francisco, yes, but you but, lost. But you're, you're missing the point. I thought you were in the Hall of Fame. They have Patrick Mahomes, San Francisco. What does has, that have to do with Brady competing it, it against has, the defense? You have to slowly but surely go down and score. You have to control. What was the time of possession in the fourth quarter, Mr. Sharp? Timeout. It was 11 minutes for Tom Brady because he is the virtuoso. He is the master at controlling the football and keeping the other quarterback on the sideline. What did he do in the Super Bowl against Matt Ryan, he kept him on the sideline for the fourth quarter. What did he do against they, Philly? Well, it, he couldn't keep him on the sideline. Well, so, oh, oh! He threw for the NFL yeah. playoff yeah. record 505. Yeah, but you're so far behind that you're in a shootout. Oh, because, whoa, 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 whoa! Because Bill Belichick's defense, without the best cornerback on the field, oh, was he so not? Was defense. Malcolm Butler on the field? No, he was in the doghouse. Have you seen Malcolm Butler in Tennessee? Yeah, I don't care. That he was the best player on their defense last year, and he was on the sideline, and they gave up 41 points to the Eagles you back up. Skip, you and Tom Brady's in a shootout. There's no milking. There's no controlling the skip, clock. Here's the thing, Skip. What good is controlling the clock if you don't get points at the end of the drive? It's not how long you have the ball. Mm -hmm. It's what you do with the ball when you have it. Tom Brady is going up and down the field, taking his time, but he's paying it off in the end zone. The 32nd ranked total defense, the 31st ranked pass defense, mm -hmm. playing without Justin Houston, mm -hmm. who's an all-pro, mm -hmm. playing without Eric Bear, who's an all-pro, mm -hmm. but you want to talk about Jimmy Ward? Mm -hmm. For real? Yes, for real, I do, because uh, he's, he's by far their best cornerback. And then I should talk about their other cornerback, too. That guy who used to be Richard Sherman. Do you remember that guy? Yes. Long time ago, he used to be Richard yes. Sherman. Whatever happened to that guy? Can he, somebody he, explain? He's coming off a serious injury. He's coming injury. off a serious injury, and he got three years, $27 million to go to San Francisco, and I don't know if he's long for the world because he got only $3 million guaranteed. I don't know. He doesn't look like Richard Sherman oh, to me it's anymore. Gonna take, it's going to take some time. So what was the play of the game last night? It got to be third and 15 at the 19, at the Green Bay 19. And they sacked Aaron Rodgers yet again. They're bringing pressure because that's the only way they're going to beat Aaron Rodgers in his house. And somebody interferes down the field. There's, right. there's illegal contact, contact. right? Yeah. Illegal contact yeah. is on. Who was it? The old Legion of Boomer. It was yeah. on Richard Sherman. And that's it. That's the game right there yeah. because it's it's either going to go to overtime or CJ's going to get lucky and make one big completion. Well, They're going to well, get No, the no, no. Goal. You said he, CJ was going to turn well, back into CJ, saying. so you don't believe but, he would have done that. You, you told me that the Green Bay defense. But I'm just trying to. But here's the thing. But you look at the throws that he's making. Though. Wait, wait. I got another point. Okay. What wait. happened on the very next play after Richard Sherman fouled and extended the football game? What happened on the very next play? So now it's first and 10, and Aaron Rodgers goes 21 yards. Wait, let's see if he can go, or he's going to take off. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's running like 4-3 down the middle Stop of the field, it. but he's Stop hurt. It. Stop he's it, hurt. Yeah. He's Stop hurt. It. Everybody knows it because the Hall of Famer said he's Stop hurt. It. He's hurt. Did so, you see him sprint? Why does could, he have... could anybody sprint like that if they got a really bad knee? No, yeah. they could not. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh, you know what? Oh, you he's can't, hurt. You know what? That hurts. was the play of the game. That got him in field goal it, range. It, it hurts you. Mm. It hurts you. No, it the hurts. Aaron Rodgers it doesn't hurt Aaron. It's just cooking folks. Because here's the thing. He's cooking gonna... folks with a brace on his knee because he's hurt. Yes. You know what? He was flying. Look at him fly down the but, field. But Skip, why what? did he do that? Skip, why do you why do you do this? Why do you try to every time Aaron does something, you try to minimize and says, look at the defense. I just want to perspective. Get. Jenny said we were going to put it in perspective. Aaron was. Okay, well, put Tom Brady. I don't, I don't okay. think you don't think. Okay, so. put, I don't think put, you put, put in perspective, perspective what Tom Brady did on Sunday night, minus Justin Hughes. Houston, the second best player. Eric I'll, Barry, I'll tell the you best what he player. did because if he doesn't come back and win that game against the Chiefs, and they're down what? Well, they're down three at that point. Yes. If they don't come back and win it, Actually, Kansas tied. City. No, Actually, they, they were tied. down three. They got down three in the fourth quarter. And and if they don't win it, Kansas City's going to jump out and run away with the AFC at six and zero, oh, and the Patriots are going to fall to three and three. That's the stake. Okay, well, if that's Green what's Bay, on the table. If Green Bay doesn't win this game. Yeah, they were the desperate team last okay, night. Okay, the I mean, the 49ers are 1-5. Really? 
Oh, so, so now, are, we, are we comparing the 49ers with the Chiefs? Is that what we're going to do? Defensively, mm. they're better than the Chiefs. I don't think they are Chief. better than the Chiefs. Stop it. Not, not without their starting corner. Have you ever heard of Greg Maben? Because I haven't. Eric, no Eric Berry, no Justin Houston, who once had mm -hmm. 22 sacks mm -hmm. in a season. Mm -hmm. So we're not. So what about the pressure, Skip? Mm -hmm. Don't do that. The pressure is all on Tom Brady because he knows if they get the ball back, they're going to torch, torch, torch. It's it's going to be Tyreek again for 75, or somebody's going to run a kickoff back for 97. Skip, it's easy to do that when you're going against the 32nd ranked defense. Mm. You make it seem like he did it against the Ravens. Who? Tom Brady! No, I, I'm talking about what Patrick Mahomes was doing to what should be the 32nd ranked defense of but Bill Belichick. What should be and what is are yeah. two different things. Yeah. Who has the 32nd ranked defense that Tom Brady was going against? But this is about Aaron Rodgers. Mm. This was a virtuoso. You <laughs> saw virtuoso? it up close and personal. I, yeah. I want to see virtuosos going forward because now they get a week off, and to Aaron's point that we saw in the sound that we heard, they come back and they go to in the next. For the Four next five weeks, they go to Rams, to Patriots, that'll be interesting, to Seattle, and to Minnesota. That's that's a pretty rough stretch. Yeah. Those are four pretty rough road games. Well, that's five. why it was almost must win for them to beat right? Minnesota in, at home. They were the desperate team in the end. They finally said, we got to get it in gear because we cannot let this happen. And to Aaron's Do credit, what? he made the throws that had to be made, some back shoulder throws, and he was finding Waldo, find 26. Don't do that, to him. Well, I, Again, if you know who this guy is. because Okay, I what don't. about the, hold on, what about the guy that was covering Gronk? Hmm? Well, what about the it? The guy that ju they just signed. I don't know. Oh, what about him? See, you, you see what you did? About? Now, this guy had yeah. just got signed. He was on the ladder. He had just gotten signed. Mm -hmm. He's covering Gronk. Oh, just so Tom Brady says. Who? The guy that was covering Rob Gronkowski. Don't worry about it. Uh -huh. But he shouldn't have been covering Gronk. He just Gronk. got signed? Yeah. I don't know about that. Look it up. But Number anyway. 30, I don't think <laughs> so. But look, but uh, anyway, 48 so. was, was on yeah. him also. Hey, Gronk just torched him, didn't he? Well, he did, just torched them. I think he caught, what, five balls? He caught three for 90, 97. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, boy, that's a lot of balls. It's, he was see, quiet see, most of the it's night. Not, it's not how many balls you catch. Oh. What do you do with the balls that you do catch? See, oh. Skip, you all this thing, you see, you all about mm. uh, quantity. I'm all about quality. Mm. I'd rather have two or three watches as opposed to 15 mm. if they're good. Mm -hmm. They're padded for leap. You know, if they something like a Roley, AP, I'm good. So you want 15 time X, 32 bullets? Mm -hmm. I ain't all into that. Give me quality. You want quantity. Does Tom Brady have a Devontae Adams? He got a Rob so. Gronkowski. Oh, he got okay. a Josh Gordon. Oh. Now, you told me Josh Gordon has a Hall of Fame. And I also arc. told you yesterday, it ain't happening yet. Whoa! Not on the same page Does Aaron Rodgers have a Julian Edelman? Mm. Does, 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 I don't know. Randall Cobb's pretty good. I, I saw him on the sideline yeah. next to Mike huh. McCarthy. You know, Jimmy Graham's pretty good, too. He's not Gronk, but he's up there in the same ballpark. No, he ain't no ballpark. What ballpark? I don't know. He's pretty good. Well, they do cook hot dogs up there. They mm. say they got them Johnsonville up there, them good old mm. Franks up there in Green Bay. They're good. I had a couple oh, of them. Skip, you need to stop with this. Why you just won't... It's okay. Just say Aaron Rodgers is the uh, uh, goat. I just successfully <laughs> rained on your parade. No, you didn't. Somebody has to bring some perspective to this because Aaron Rodgers is the NFL's LeBron James because he gets glorified for all the yes, wrong he is. things. He's the best player. Yeah. He's the best player yeah. playing right and, now. And the You're best right. player playing has played in one long ago Super Bowl, and since then he's five and six. You in the way. Let me you finish. It's my turn five and six in the postseason and over that same stretch just that five and six stretch Tom Brady's 13 and five in the okay. postseason and he's won two Super Bowls and played in four yeah. and Aaron it's been forever since he played in his lone Super Bowl and then he's five and six but you told me that was ancient history uh, you told uh, me not to bring up anything that's ancient no history. I'm, I'm just showing you, you you keep saying that your guy is better than that guy up in yes. Foxborough the reigning MVP Tom Brady said it on his own mm -hmm. mouth Hmm. Tom Brady said if Aaron Rodgers had Coach Belichick this system with the defensive prowess, mm -hmm. there's no telling what he could have done. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I, Tom I said. I don't listen to anything that comes out of Tom's mouth. Oh, I just watch what he does. Listen. I, I watch what he does when the money's on the table. But you tell Because the money player, the greatest clutch performer ever in any sport is Tom Brady, He's not, even close not to Aaron Rodgers. More coach, but that's neither here nor there. Well, it is. Well how, well, how is he more clutch when you say Jordan is 6-0? Oh? Yeah. And Tom Brady's lost. 
hasn't had nearly as many big stage opportunities as Tom Brady. Tom Brady just keeps playing in AFC Championship games and Super Bowls. And he keeps losing in yeah. Super Bowls. Oh, he keeps losing in Super Five Bowls? Five and three. Oh. You turn, now, that's the argument that you use against LeBron. You yeah. say LeBron can't be the GOAT because he's lost in the finals. How can Tom Brady be more clutch than Jordan when he's so, lost in the finals? So in two of those losses, one it of doesn't matter. Mr. Eli, and he went See. down, drove him. Set, wait a second. He drove his team 75 yards with four minutes left in the game, and then with 242 left in the game, he hit Randy Moss with the what should have been the winning touchdown pass, 14 Why to 10. Been winning? Should have closed the deal, and and Belichick's defense couldn't hang on because Eli pulled off the luckiest play in the history of the Super Bowl. That's what it took to beat Tom Brady then. And then last year, it took Bill Belichick incomprehensibly not playing Malcolm Butler and allowing 41 points to the backup Eagles quarterback. That's what it took to cancel out the all-time playoff record, 505 yards that Tom Brady at age 40 threw in that Super Bowl. But 505. And now at 41, he did it again. He did it in the AFC Championship game. He did it on Sunday night against the hottest team in the NFL. And you dare to come in here and say, virtuoso. Yeah. A baloney. Hottest team. But, Skip, here's the thing. Yes, this is the, this is the ultimate team Somebody's game. Somebody's got to bring some perspective. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> this Somebody? Is the, this is the ultimate team mm. game. Mm. But let's be all the way real. Mm. I the, think the, I've been. Kansas City's yeah. defense They're... leaves a lot to be desired. Okay. You know that, I okay, know that. But San Francisco's defense and offense leave a lot to be desired. Both. Did you see Did you see what San Francisco's offense was doing to Green Bay's defense? I don't know. It was just a miracle. I'd never seen it quite like it. Not, but when it was, it was time, miracle, but it was was time it, they said, let's get but was serious it, about was this. It we got to stop this. Was it happening? Yeah. Yes or no? Okay, what, what does that tell you? It's, it just it tells you that Aaron Rodgers doesn't have a defense, uh, that he had a, de a top 10 defense, scoring defense like Brady. There's no telling how many Super Bowls he can. top 10 defense? Did you see what happened to Belichick's defense? Scoring. Wait a second. At Jacksonville, was that a great scoring defense? At Detroit, was that great? Was, was Sunday night, 31 in the second half, a great scoring defense? No, 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 no. Skip, you pick it's out, pathetic. You pick out a few games a here. A few there. games? Yes. They've only played six. Okay, what about all those playoff games? <laughs> in which the oh. defense hadn't given up 35 points, mm. as opposed to Aaron Rodgers' defense giving up mm. 50 points. Mm. I'm just giving you facts. Let's just call off the season and put Aaron Rodgers there in the you Hall go. of Fame. No, no, Let's no, just that's do it. Unnecessary. I'll go with you. You go up there and you can induct him. I mean, look. You can induct him. <laughs> just you, off, the, off last 13 night. 13 and 6. That should have ended. 13 that and closed 6. the case. Tom Brady has 13 mm. touchdowns, 6 mm. picks. Aaron mm. Rodgers is 12 and 1. Mm. Yeah, but one guy's the seventh overall in QBR, and the other guy's 18th. Aaron Rodgers is 18th. So that lets so you know QBR is bumped. Oh, the man throws are. for 425 mm. and two touchdowns mm. and has a 66. Uh, That's bump. He was really shaky for three and a half. All points. I know is, is that when the NFL, when it's all said mm. and done, nobody mentions QBR. It's mm. passer rating. Mm. And Aaron Rodgers has the highest in the NFL here. Oh, okay. We're moving on from the LeBron of the NFL, <laughs> as Skip likes yeah. to put it, to the actual LeBron yeah. and his new supporting cast. Yeah. Are they better than his old one? We'll discuss Ooh, next. Good question.